Before he became Mr. Jazik, I'm a piano pioneer, record label owner and businessman to Melo Magnoni was a schoolboy growing up in Alex, imagining his future. We joined him in the place where inspiration first struck. Welcome to Alexandra. This is my hometown. This is where I grew up. This is where Mr. Jazik was brought up. I actually used to stay in this exact same flat. I used to stay with my grandma. She was very strict. She actually taught me how to handle myself, cleanliness. She was I'm a woman of power. She was very strong. So in everything that I did, it's me being a representative of her. I mean, being back here is very inspiring because it takes me back to where the hunger started, where I became Jazik. Tumelo's family is filled with intellectuals and politicians, so he always aspired to be as influential as they were, but in the world of music. Everything that happened, I think it happened for a reason because it drove me to the person that I am today. It could have been any other way with the environment that we grew up in, with a lot of stuff being exposed to us, crime and drugs and all of that. Could have found myself in one of those things, but I chose a different route and I chose to do things differently. So this was actually my bedroom, but after everyone is asleep, because I can't go to sleep if everyone is still here watching TV. To all the kids who are not fortunate enough to find themselves in a situation of being in a family that is privileged, you don't have to stop dreaming, you don't have to stop working hard, just make sure that you make connections, go to school, you are going far because there is no one who can determine if you are not made for this. So you keep pushing, always focus. These days, the man's label represents several young artists, and key to that has been his ability to hear music in just about everything. As you can hear, there's like drums playing in the back. You can hear the kids speaking, birds are squeaking, taxis are driving past and beeping. So there's a lot of sounds that you can actually get out of this thing. And some of them, I actually created some of my songs with the sounds that I get from this. Tomello always credits fellow artists and family in his success, whether for songs composed with friends in his grandmother's back room or the hits he creates from his own home today. So the journey of my music was not only from my surroundings, but also from home. My grandma was a big lover of music. My dad is a big lover of music. Everything that we most probably did was based around music. When my family would have a family gathering, there were certain songs that were sang. Music has always been in my DNA. So the uniqueness of my name came from a bunch of my friends in high school. I used to listen to a lot of instrumental music. So every time they'd come across me, I always had headphones. For me, it was, it actually calmed me down. Like even till today, I, I listen to a lot of lo-fi music. In, in school, they used to just call me jazz. And then I added the IQ at the end. So that made it intelligent. It was breaking the rules which saw Jazik succeed in Ama Piano. And as he tells the youth, if you don't try, you'll never know. When I made my first hit, it was a song called Long Lasting. I also don't think we expected it to become that big. It also was an instrumental song, so it wasn't supposed to get that kind of mileage. The experience was a bit shocking. So for me, I didn't want to take it all in. At that time, I was like, actually, let's just wait. Maybe it's a false alarm. Let's try it again. And then we tried it again, did it again. And then I was like, okay, maybe we might have yeah, an assisting formula. <laughs> When the star needs a break from the decks, he plays golf. Pro Ulrich van den Berg was here to reduce his handicap. Hey, Jersey Q. How's it? How are you doing, man? Good, brother. How are you? What is my name? How are you doing? Oh, nice to meet you. And nice you, to meet you. you. Today we're looking for a new set of clubs. He's got a lot of speed, so I'm looking forward to seeing if I can improve his equipment today and see if we can do better than what he's got. We've got our TrackMan device, which is a launch monitor, which measures the ball's speed, a whole host of different numbers that help us to fit. Through that, I'll be able to distinguish whether we need a softer shaft, a heavier shaft, a lighter shaft, and through that, we'll see if we can better your golf clubs. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate one for us here. Okay, we're gonna hit one shot. A whole host of numbers pop up on the screen. My covered speed, you can see my ball speed, 
and you can see the rest of the numbers that ball went 168 meters and had very little side spin so all in all that was a really nice shot let's get you up and hitting a natural sportsman Tumelo played rugby in high school and his power off the mark proved handy on the range where did my love for golf start? I started going to the shooting range with my uncle. After like a few sessions, I decided that I actually want to start playing and I want to start playing professionally. I did like a lot of practice, you know, I started going into the internet, looking at what is actually golf about or what is this whole thing. At the age of nine, that's when I started challenging other kids. I started playing, touring, and even today, I still want to play professionally. You're a pretty talented man. You're not just a musician, you're also a good golfer. Look at this. You just hit an eight time, 150 meters carry, 109 miles an hour ball speed. So you've got all the speed in the world, which is something we can't really teach. All in all, I'll give you nine out of 10 for that shot. Great stuff, man. You can become a good golfer, guy. <laughs> I needed this. The practice was worth it. It reminded me actually why I need to come back and play golf. This is where another side of my heart is. Jazik's talents in business have seen him recently rebrand his Alexandra restaurant and it's proven yet another hit. Welcome to Vibes on Main. Now, this place has a lot of history. It was a family business until I ended up taking over. Yeah, it's a double story establishment. This is the top floor. This is where you find the other bar. We've got another DJ booth. We have two DJ booths in the building. There's one up here and another one downstairs. It's where we have all the performances. In terms of decorating the place, we're obviously like big people who travel, but we obviously like took some ideas from here and there. We were obviously reaching for a much more premium kind of clientele for our people in Alex. With the rebrand done and turnover looking tasty, the man is now back in studio with his boys, cooking up new beats for the summer to come. What I wanted to be when I grew up, I just wanted to dress up, look good and smell good. With that being said, I, I always just wanted to be a DJ all my life. I always had the ear for music because in every situation where any of my older brothers or like my, my cousins or my uncles would want to go get some new music, I'd be the person they either come to before or after they get the project. I was meant for this thing. I feel like I'm the best a &R in Africa also. Besides my, my club being the best, actually I'm too much. What I'd say to a younger me is don't ever forget where you come from because at the end of the tunnel, that road would actually have to lead you back home. As you grow, you build or break the person that you're supposed to be later. So either you choose how you're going to build yourself or you go into a broken place, which is hard to come out of. Though his personal life is one he keeps private, Mr. Jazik recently became a dad to twin girls. So from here, the music, club, and all he can imagine will be his legacy to them. Another feel-good production.